Hello one, hello all, tonight folks and fondest dreams. I'm your host, the Brit Pirate Roberts, and today we are going over a Breath of the Wild theory. The only way I can describe Breath of the Wild, if you don't know what it is already, is largest Zelda game of all time. Now that you know what it is, we can get right into the theory. This theory is something that has originated before even E3, and it comes from a person named Emily Rogers. Emily Rogers has supplied the community with a lot of rumors about various things such as the NX and Breath of the Wild, just as examples. And the rumor that was stated by her was Breath of the Wild will feature more than a hundred mini dungeons. Now that is big, that's a lot of dungeons by Zelda standards. By any standard, that's a lot of dungeons. And so far, that part of the rumor happens to be true. In E3, we got a look at just the Great Plateau demo area, and we saw four dungeons. That was less than 2% of the game. You could do the math. Anywho, just looking off of the Great Plateau, we're also able to see dozens and dozens of shrines, as they're called, or mini dungeons, all over the place. So, so far, that part of the rumor holds up water. And it was actually confirmed during E3 that that is true. There are more than 100 mini dungeons all over the world. Unfortunately, there's a downside to this rumor. The rumor also states there will only be four main dungeons in the game. Now, um, main dungeons are staple to the Zelda franchise. We've always had them. And the least amount of dungeons we've had in any game was in Majora's Mask. Um, not including the final dungeon, we also had four dungeons. They've never gone under that, but... That came as a surprise to me. The largest Zelda game of all time is going to have the smallest amount of dungeons possible, not the largest. Of course, that's not including many dungeons, but dungeons usually are more numerous than that. I believe there's actually been 19 dungeons in one Zelda game. Don't quote me on that, I'm probably wrong, but that's not, that's aside the point. What this theory is about is trying to determine where the location of those four dungeons would be if it turns out that this rumor is true, which so far it has been true, so I think we could safely assume there will be four dungeons in Breath of the Wild. Then again, it is a theory, I mean a rumor, so take it with a grain of salt. So in Majora's Mask, which is the other game I just mentioned, the dungeons are placed north, south, east, west, and that, and not in that necessary order, but they're placed in that area, they're placed in those areas. I believe in Breath of the Wild, they'll do the same thing. Just instead of north, south, east, west, it'll be in the corners of the map. So, top left corner, top right corner, bottom left corner, bottom right corner. And that is where the areas of the temples is going to be. Um, now, it's a super basic theory. It's something that probably a toddler could have come up with, but I think that there's a little bit more evidence for this theory than you would think at first glance. Now, if we look at our super highly advanced map of science, then we have this map of Breath of the Wild from the Game Awards 2014. If you doubt that the map is the same from since then, then click this video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then it's fine. Just watch the video, unless you really want to watch the click the link that I just put up, but you probably don't want to do that because then you're not going to be watching this video. So, the location of the dungeons, I believe, will be, as I said, in corners of the map. So, generally, these areas. And that is where I believe the dungeons will be. That's a super basic theory. I think what also supports it is the fact that Hyrule Castle, which is the final dungeon, is in the middle. And that would also match up with the temple... Not the... That would match up with Majora's Mask fairly well, where it was the same aspect... And uh, that, that's the theory. Although the evidence for the theory is going to be a little bit more lengthy how I go over this. Now, video games in The Legend of Zelda have all dungeons have always been elemental. They've always had some elemental aspect to them. So, for instance, um, there's been forest temples, there have been fire temples, there have been water temples and stuff like that. And temples have been based off of aspects and things we find in nature, religion, etc. Um, that's been true since the original Legend of Zelda. And uh, this game, I believe, will be no different. And the things I believe they'll base the dungeons on will be nature things, because this game is obviously about exploration and the wild, Breath of the Wild. So the aspects I believe will be used are also used in another game, and that is Minish Cap. I believe there will be earth, fire, water, and wind dungeons. 
Now, in the Minish Cap, in order to build the Four Sword or Forge It, you need to go around and collect these four elements from four dungeons found around the map. Um, I don't know where the location of those are. I'm sorry. I probably should put a map up. I probably am putting a map up right now where they are found, but in this game, we have those exact same things. In the top right corner of the map, we have the fighter aspect, Death Mountain, which is right over here and has all of its lava-y stuff over there. That would be the fire medallion, or the fire element, and that would be the fire dungeon. In the top left corner of the map, it's been seen that there is a floating island up there. The floating island would obviously be the wind element, so we would have the wind element over here. In the bottom left corner of the map, we know for a fact that that's the largest forested area in the game, so there is your earth or forest element in the game, or I should be drawing that in green actually, the largest forested element in the game. So now that leaves one last area, and that is over in the southwest cor southeast corner of the map, and that is in this area. Now that would, by process of elimination, be the water element. But unfortunately, we aren't able to see that area from Breath of the Wild footage that we have so far. Um, because there's a mountain range over here that kind of obscures the view of this area. Although from the map, we are able to determine that this area is one of the most watery areas in the game. And it also happens to have the largest island in the game. Now there's other islands, for instance, actually in Lake Healy right there. There's an island. I believe that will be an island. There, there, there. All those areas will be their own little islands in the game. But this is the largest. This is the King Boblin of the islands. So it would make sense that you put the temple or dungeon in the, on the largest watery area of the game. And that would be the island. So the theory, as I stated before, will be the dungeons will be located in the four corners of the map, with the final dungeon being right there. Now, the pillars that we see in Breath of the Wild are actually four. We have, I think, one there. We have one there. I don't, I don't know for a fact, but I think they're in that general area. That's where the pillars are that are putting the Hyrule Castle in its kind of, I don't know, energy bubble it's in right now. So it also makes sense that we have four dungeons in those four general areas. And then, of course, we have all of our mini dungeons everywhere we have them like all over the place like just everywhere so in case you think that there is a lack of dungeons don't worry we have plenty more where that came from and they're called shrines thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it i'm going to be doing more theories about various things such as where is the master sword hidden where will be the lost woods how are we going to unlock hyrule castle and uh, where who is the old man other theories such as that i'll be going over um, I'm gonna do some speculation, discussion, I've always wanted to do a live stream, I doubt I'll get to that, but if I do, then you'll know who, where to find it. And until next time, I'm your host, the Bread Pirate Roberts, see ya! Some are saying he's reminiscent of the old man from the original Legend of Zelda who gave you the wooden sword, uttering the famous line, It's dangerous to go alone, take this! However, we are entirely convinced that he is none other than the John Cena! Your time is up, my time is now. now. You can't